Corey Taylor with Post Traumatic Blues. Thank you so much, Undead Ninja, for this request. Let's check it out. Ooh, cool, like, comic book font. Okay, I gotta say, I really dig these drums. Really cool. Like, using the tom, snare, and double kick to do those quadruplets. Was it? Yeah, quadruplets. chord change so which member is Corey taylor the singer of slipknot then but uh i love this comic book style filter that's over the video real video made to look like it's in a comic book i'm guessing they also took down the frame rate or the shutter speed to make it look more comic booky okay so he's a lead singer sweet And that pre-chorus, the bass notes in context with the guitar chord change-ups were really interesting there, giving the chords a really different feel than if it was playing the root note. So Under Ninja says, I think this is one of his heavier, more heavier solo songs. He actually recorded the song he wrote for his wife for their wedding on his first solo album. Aw, that's nice. Was it like Death Scream Metal? <laughs> or was it actually like... You know, your typical wedding song. Sweet and, and calm. I'm very curious. Anyway.
It's a pretty sweet guitar solo section there. Or duo. Guitar duo. Um, the bass work, too, in that part leading up to I can't remember where it was. It was really interesting. It is funny watching this video after being used to watching so many Japanese bands and then contrasting it with this. Like... It's like American bands just seem so much more self-indulgent in their videos and stuff than you're used to seeing in Japanese music. Because pretty much any Japanese band I've ever watched is pretty humble, pretty like, you know, there for the music. But then you like have the stick twirling and the the crazy crowd moves and stuff. Anyway, it's just a funny contrast. Cool to see that studio footage. Guessing that's like from the production of the song. Very nice. I mean, it's not what I'd typically listen to with all the screaming, but there's some really cool guitar work, really cool drums in there. And yeah, who mentioned that? The vocals. It, I mean, it's a singing style that most singers can't pull off. That power, growth sounding, gritty vocals. Pretty sweet. All right. Well, thank you so much, Undead Ninja, for sharing that with us. Also, I've got some exclusive live music and anime reactions over on my Patreon. I just finished reacting to Bochi the Rock, and now I'm starting Cowboy Bebop. I do exclusive live music reactions, and I've covered everyone from Bandmade, Baby Meta, Love Bites, Namafila, Gatrick Spin, that you can find only on my Patreon. And you can also make your own requests for videos I react to. So go check that out, and I'll talk to you next time.